we have a significant obesity uh, issue. We are, we are ranked one of the worst states in terms of childhood obesity, but also our adult obesity population is, is ranked poorly. So our goal through this initiative is to build healthier communities. If you have healthier communities, there's going to be a lot less obesity. Obesity causes uh, chronic diseases like diabetes and, and um, hypertension. And so if we have healthier communities, we'll have less chronic diseases as well. It's really exciting to be here today to share this news with you, especially um, after the presentations this morning and Secretary Greenstein's vision for the future of the state. It's very exciting to hear that vision because the Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana Foundation shares that vision. And I am standing before you today to announce the launch of an important new initiative called Challenge for a Healthier Louisiana. The Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana Foundation, long serving as an organization committed to improving the, life, the lives of the citizens of our state and the health of the state, will partner with Pennington Biomedical Research Center to tackle obesity in our Louisiana communities. As we discussed this morning, the obesity rates are staggering, and they are significantly high in our area of the country. And as we all know and discussed this morning, our environment shapes the way in which decisions are made in terms of being physically active or eating healthy. We call this initiative Challenge for a Healthier Louisiana because the end goal is to support communities all across our state in the implementation of healthy eating, active living, and environmental change programs that support healthier communities for children and families in Louisiana. Together, we are calling on Louisiana-based nonprofit organizations to collaborate with community partners such as local municipalities, private industry, school districts and hospitals, and submit project proposals. The Pennington Biomedical Research Center will assemble an expert panel to review applications, and each challenge grant awarded will range between $250,000 to a million dollars, and we plan to give out many. As I mentioned this morning, Blue Cross is a wellness company, and through our efforts, we strive to promote the wellness and well-being of all Louisianians by supporting projects and programs that are health and education related. We are grateful to Pennington Biomedical Research Center for their support and collaboration on this important endeavor, and we look forward to receiving innovative proposals. Pennington is distributing our information packet right now. If you do not have one, please wait. They will, they're getting them out. Please read the, through the materials and pass this on to anyone you think would be a good applicant. If you have questions about this project or proposal, I'll be around all day. There are others that are part of our staff at the Louisiana Two-Step Booth. You can stop there and leave your contact information, and I'll get back to you. Or you can visit our website, which is ourhomelouisiana.org. It has all of the information about the challenge grant. Together, we can bring change to our communities, and through partnership, purpose, and new ways of thinking, we will turn the tide on obesity in Louisiana. Thank you. We are announcing a challenge to Louisianans to build healthier communities. And so through that, we are um, prepared, well, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Louisiana Foundation is prepared to put some significant dollars on the table. We are prepared to invest $10 million across the state, and we will support projects that are multi-level intervention, um, that include individuals, schools, children, families, health care centers, and we're looking to do projects that are range in, from $250,000 to a million dollars. This is fantastic. What Louisiana needs to address the obesity epidemic is funding to support the projects that are already underway. The goal is to get communities talking and working together. This is, um, we're basically forcing them to come together and, and many are already doing this, but basically um, to come together and make a plan of action for their community and find other resources in addition to ours to reshape the community. So we want them to talk about how we're going to actually make our state healthier. I'm ecstatic uh, on behalf of the pediatricians in the state that promote prevention and wellness every day in their offices. This is the type of effort we need to see more of from uh, folks that are concerned about kids and families and being healthier 
leading longer, healthier lives. Well, Blue Cross is very interested in the well-being and the wellness of the communities in which we live and work. Um, the foundation was established in the early 90s and has been focused on this uh, on the well-being of Louisianians since then. We've had many signature programs around obesity initiatives, Smart Bodies being our most popular, we're most proud of, and that's a program that goes into schools K through fifth grade. Uh, what we learned from that program is we were successful. Kids were actually making a difference, learning um, how much they enjoyed fruits and vegetables, but uh, when they go home, if the parents didn't have access to fruits and vegetables or didn't have the same sort of behaviors, then what we were teaching them was lost. So what we needed to do was think bigger, that we needed to reshape communities as a whole. There needed to be opportunities for kids to go out and play in a safe environment. There needed to be community gardens where people could have access to produce. Um, and so this initiative is to basically spend uh, the next three years reshaping the state of Louisiana so it's a healthier state. Uh, obviously I'm excited um, and one of the biggest barriers to um, us tackling this childhood obesity uh, problem has been funding. Um, we have lacked financial resources to implement the kinds of programs we need. Um, what I see is sort of you know three things right away you know funding for um, clinical programs to help those children who are already obese especially those who are severe obese. We have wonderful programs across the state trim kits programs in Slidell and the YMCA's um, but they we want to take that across the state and we need funding for that. Um, secondly, I see uh, dollars for improving parks, playgrounds, uh, biking uh, trails, sidewalks, infrastructure to promote play um, and to inform and help uh, us to provide healthier food for our children, uh, perhaps buses to take fruits and vegetables into the neighborhoods. Um, so that's a second a second uh, way that we can do this. And, and third is to go into the OBGYN offices and provide support to educate um, women who recently become pregnant um, as to their role in promoting health for their children once they're born and thereafter. It starts during pregnancy. They have to eat healthy, exercise, um, make sure they breastfeed the children if they can, and it takes resources to educate them. So those are the three areas I'd like to see covered. I um, hope the grants come on in, and, uh, and um, I'm very happy that Blue Cross Blue Shield has this commitment. Well, one of the reasons we wanted to announce today at the Pennington Conference, we have been a sponsor of this initiative for its entire four years, and these are the people who are actually at the forefront trying to make a difference. We wanted to share this news first with them because we think these are the people who are going to reshape the state. They're our partners, and we are, we're excited by the work that they do, and we want to help leverage the work that they're doing with additional resources. If people have questions or like more information, what should they do? They can contact the foundation. They can contact Pennington. We have a website with all of the information. They can go to www.ourhomelouisiana.org, and Louisiana is spelled out.